Use a USB cable to connect your phone to your computer. The phone screen is mirrored on the computer screen. You use the mouse and keyboard to control the phone from the computer via USB cable. This software helps you control multiple phones at the same time. Just need your computer to have enough USB ports or you need a multi-port USB hub. The software to control the Android phone is called Panda. The name of a fat bear. You download the installation package as a compressed file. Unzip the file and install. The software supports controlling the phone via USB cable, OTG, wireless network and wired network. But using a USB cable is the simplest. By default you cannot control the phone in normal mode. The phone can only be controlled when it is operating in developer mode. This is the mode that helps you to access deeper features on the phone such as installing software from the computer, remote control via cable or over the network and more. You follow the steps below to enable developer mode. Each phone manufacturer has a different way of doing it. Here is how to do it on a Samsung phone. My phone has a password so it requires a password to confirm. Skip this step if your phone doesn't have a password. Developer mode has been enabled. Back. Continue to enable USB debugging. Developer options. Scroll down. Debugging. USB debugging. Enable. Allow USB debugging. OK. I have allowed USB debugging. The phone is ready to be controlled via USB cable. You use a USB cable to connect your phone and computer together. You make sure Panda software is running. Allow USB debugging. Allow access to phone data. Allow USB debugging. It repeats twice and you allow it. The computer has detected the phone my phone. It will look like this. And I just use the mouse and keyboard to control it. You zoom in the screen. Use the mouse to control the phone as when you use your finger to control directly on the phone screen. Not only that, you can create a record of operations and run it for the next time. This method helps you simplify repetitive tasks. Or you create a scripts on multiple phones. For example, I record the steps to open the browser. As you can see, it repeats the actions I recorded. The software can control multiple phones at the same time with many diverse features. Thank you for watching. Good luck.